made it. Look who showed up. We have the students and our teachers from Simon Gratz High School Mastery Charter in North Philadelphia. They just entered the classroom. The show that goes students go head to head with their favorite all time teachers. Look who showed up to support them. These guys are ready to rock. What's up, y'all? <laughs> Love that. It's the energy. They're ready for it. I know you guys are too. It's winner take all on the cash and bragging rights. Before we meet our contestants, it's time for a pop quiz. <laughs> right off the top here, we're getting right into a pop quiz. We are nervous here. So, teams, grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to get through as many questions as we can. Each correct answer is going to be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, just wait until I call your name to answer. If you get it right, you bank 10. If you get it wrong, a person from the other team can buzz in and steal those points. Pop quiz starts now. In the fairy tale, Jack and the Beanstalk, what animal does Jack trade to get magic beans? Miss Dewey. A cow? Cow is right. Teachers on the board first. What is the name of the artist of the famous painting Starry Night? Miss Stoltzfus. Da Vinci? Oh. Going for the steel, students. Buzzing if you know it. That's Vincent Van Gogh is who we we're looking for there. Party Rock Anthem and Sexy and I Know It are two songs by What American Duo. Miss Dewey. LMFAO. There it is. That one's right. The bombing of what U.S. base prompted the United States to join the war in 1941? Miss Dewey again. Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor's right again. What is the Roman numeral of the number five? Miss Stoltzfus. V. V is right. Students still looking for your first one to break the ice here. In 2018, the Philadelphia 76ers made a trade with what team to get Jimmy Butler? Miss Stoltzfus. Milwaukee Bucks. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> students for the steal. Who'd they trade with to get Jimmy Butler? Dario and Covington went to the Minnesota Timberwolves. Finish this ice cream slogan. What would you do for a? Ashanti. Kind of like yeah. What state borders California to the north? Miss Dewey. Oregon. Oregon's right. What is the soft, sponge like tissue in the center of a large bone that produces white blood cells, red blood cells, and platelets? Miss Stoltzfus. Oh, uh, marrow. Bone marrow's right. And that is it for Pop Quiz. Wow, the teachers came out swinging. We're off to a great start for them. 60 points. Students, you got on the board with 10, so we're pumped there. We have the students and teachers from Simon Gratz High School Mastery Charter in North Philadelphia. Home of the Bulldogs, let's meet our teams over here. Andre, team captain, standing at six know. foot four, right? Man, that is tall. <laughs> close, right? Close. Yeah, close. All right, so $500 if you guys win today. Where's that going? School sweat. School swag. Yeah. Like, I'm talking some gear, right? Yeah. You guys yeah, already look it. good. What, any kind of swag we're looking for? I like gym uniforms. Yeah, stuff to make you look cool, right? Yeah. So, 10th grader, check this guy out. This dude does not stop smiling. He walked into the <laughs> studio, and all he does, ear to ear grin. I love that energy, man. You got an awesome personality. Where'd you get that from? Just got it. Yeah, God damn it, right there. All right, Ashanti, best thing about your school, you're in 11th grade. You've been there a little bit about it for now. What is it? Uh, the teachers. The, the teachers? Yes. Have you had any of these three over here? Mm, I have two. And what's, do they do anything weird that you're just like, what is going on? Teachers are so weird. Miss Dewey. Miss yes. Dewey. <laughs> she does something weird? What is it? Yeah. She has this British accent that... She rocks it. We're coming to you. Just hold on to that one in a second. And Keyshawn, good to see you. 11th graders coming. You're almost to college. What do you want to study next step? Um, English literature. English lit? And mm -hmm. any, any kind of job you'd like to do? Um, I want to be a teacher. Oh, yeah. Speaking my language. That's my girl. Hey, well, guys, good luck today. $500 bragging rights against these three. So good luck today, okay? Perfect. Teachers, good to see you. I love it. Miss Dewey. We want to know. Tell me more about this British accent. Yes, so I was born in the UK. Okay. So um, I have an American accent, obviously, too. But when I talk to family members and otherwise, I can pull my British accent. So if you were like, give like a little advertisement for the classroom, let's say we go to UK, we're going big time, what, yes. what would it sound like? Uh, watch the classroom on Fox 29 from Monday to Friday. Oh! Oh, that's, hey, you might be in advertising after that. That was awesome. Nicely done. Hey, 
$500 on the line against these three. Where's it, where's it going to go? Um, we want to put it towards our school beautification committee nice. um, so we can get some new plants and make our school look Perfect. good for spring. If the school looks good, kids want to be there. That's a great choice for you guys. Ms. stoltz Foos, you were on fire in Pop Quiz. <laughs> you have a pretty cool job at the school. You're a job placement coordinator. What's the coolest job that you've seen students get to go to? Uh, right now, one of my seniors goes to Goat Philly, so he goes Goat, twice. Is that like a club? Uh, it's a farm, so he goes twice a week in the mornings, walks the goats, changes the pens, um, like pets the goats. Dude, so that's because that's, yeah, that's a job. Everyone's got to be a goat petter. That's fantastic. That's All right, well, good. Good to see you guys. And speaking of good, check her down at the end. That's Miss Good. <laughs> good to see your second year teacher. And, uh, and tell me about home life for you, because it's hectic. Yes, I'm a mom of twin daughters. They're nine years old, and they're at dance right now. They are my little dancers. So they're they're so tearing much. it up right now. Yes. All right. It so up. hopefully they're doing well, and hopefully you do well as well. Against three kids over here, are ready to put the money on the line. Someone's going to detention. <laughs> Buzzers down, you guys are going to work together on this category. Here's how detention works. I'm going to give the trailing team a category. As a team, you're going to have 10 seconds aside. If you want to play or if you want to pass, if you choose to play, you answer the question correctly. You can send any member of the other team to detention, but if you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question. So that's where it could come in to really help you. The first team to eliminate everybody from the other team is going to win 40 points on the board. Students, you want to crawl back into this one. Category is going to go to you guys. The category is sports. Do you want to play or do you want to pass that over to the teachers? You ain't know these sports questions. I think we should be We don't play. Passing the sports question over to the teachers. In the NFL, the Bears represent what city? All right, so you have our answer? Yeah. Um, we are going to say Chicago. The pass came back to bite the students. Chicago is right. Teachers bag it. <laughs> Guys, did you know it? Yeah, you knew it. That top, that's a tough pass right there. Teachers, first ones to get to send somebody to detention. Who's going? We don't want to send. I forgot the only question, right? Ashanti. Ashanti. Ashanti, out of the game. You are officially out of there. Take your seat in detention. Keep it warm, though, because we're going to send some more people your way right now because teachers, categories on you. How do you feel about seasons? Seasons. You want to send that over to the students or play? Uh, we're going to pass it over to the students. In the Southern Hemisphere, what seasons take place from March to June? <laughs> Five seconds. <laughs> Taking a guess? Uh, uh, <laughs> That is incorrect, sir. He almost said summer, but that wouldn't have been right. Autumn and fall in the summer hemisphere is what we were looking for there. Teachers, nice pass by you guys, but someone else is going to detention. Who's going? Uh, we're sending Kishana to detention. Kishana <laughs> out of the game. Our 11th grader, just like that, two students are filling the four possible seats in there, and it's starting to look more and more like a regular high school. So here we go. <laughs> Category is math. Oh. Mm. Pass or play? Play. Two times pi r or pi times d are formulas to find what? Variable. Uh, uh, Variable is incorrect. We're looking for circumference. That was a tough one, which means you, Andre, have to go fill in that last seat in detention. And students got swept by our teachers, bringing their score up to 100 points to the students' 10. But we'll be right back to see how well our contestants and our students can spell. Don't go anywhere. For you guys right there. Welcome back to the classroom. Today we have students and teachers from Simon Gratz High School Mastery Charter in North Philadelphia. They're going head to head with their favorite teachers. The score right now, teachers are in the lead with 100. Andre, I don't want to say it, but you have 10, but there is still plenty of time left in the game for anyone to win this thing. So let's get right back into gameplay with some spell check. <laughs> Okay, 
here's how this game's going to work. We have two minutes on the clock. When I call your name, step up to the microphone. I'm going to give you a word to spell. Ten seconds to do it. If you get it correct, you stay in the game. But if you say a wrong letter, at any point, you're officially out of there. If your team eliminates every player from the other team, you're going to win 30 points this round. The clock runs out. Each player left standing. Hey, I'm the nicest guy around. I'm going to let you. You spelled it. You did it. Ten points for each person left. So let's do it. Spell check time. Teachers, you first. Mrs. Dewey, libel. L-I-B-E-L. Barter. Can you repeat it? Barter. B-A-R-T-R. <laughs> Haven. H-A-V-E-N. Here we go, Shanti. Ethics. A-T-H-I-C-S. Sesame. S-E-S-A-M-E. -S -E. It's a delicious topic. Domain. D-O-M-I-N-E. Sorry, A-I-N. You're out of there. Rhythm. R-Y. The hardest word in the English language. I'm on her ship on that one. Bureau. <laughs> Bureau. Me. -E. You are. Sorry, bud. You're out of there. Down to our last student, Ashanti. You got to hold it down for him. Migratory. Oh. Uh, migratory. M I. G R A T O R Y. Good job. Enlighten. E N L I G H T N. Good. Comfortable. C O M F O R A. Out of there, down to one. A piece. Here we go. Your next word is optimistic. O P T I M I S T I C. C. Good. Meringue. Oh, uh, okay, meringue. Uh, M A R. Out of there, which means it's time you just heard the crowd for the students. 30 points for them. The scoring brings them up to 40 for the game to 100 for our teachers, but we're not done yet. Picture day is next, so stick those smiles on and come on back to the classroom. in the classroom. Today we have students versus teachers from Simon Gratz High School Mastery Charter in North Philadelphia and they are rocking today. What's up everybody? Good to see you guys. What a game so far, right? So this is Julie. You go to school at Simon Gratz. Yes. Well, how about Ashanti's last stand there? Four words in a row like she did it. How Were you feeling like she could spell that well? Yes. You knew it the whole way. Yes. What's the best thing about your school? The teachers. The teachers? You have a favorite up there? Ms. Good. So you're a student and your favorite things about the t as teachers. Who are you pulling for today? The students, of course. Yeah, of course, right, right? <laughs> um, hey, totally. The Keisha Operations Manager. So you got a good pool of what that school's like. Oh, yeah. And what's, what makes you guys so special? Our students. The students we serve, the community is beautiful, so. Well, I, all of a sudden, I want to go to Simon Gratz. So, guys, sign me up. Let's do it. But before we do that, we got to put some picture day into action. So put your smiles on. Let's play. <laughs> Big news. Teams, grab your buzzers. You're not, you guys are going to need them for this category. We're all going to show you a picture of a famous person, place, or thing that we covered with boxes. I'm going to give you three clues, one at a time. With each clue, we're going to move three of those boxes. The first person to buzz in and correctly identify the picture is going to win 10 points for their team. If you get it wrong, a member from the other team is going to have a chance to buzz in and steal those points. So let's get right down to it. Here is picture number one. This athlete is from Michigan. Clue number two. He has an undefeated professional boxing record. Andre. Floyd Mayweather. Is that Floyd Mayweather? That's your man, Money Mayweather, right there. Nice one, Andre. He wipes the dirt off his shoulders. He's feeling good as we get right into question number two. Let's do it. This building has 775 rooms. That is a lot of vacuuming. Question number two, here we go. Here's clue number two. This place changes guards often. Keyshawn? Buckingham Palace. Is that Buckingham Palace? To go back to Palace students, climbing their way picture by picture. 
Bucks are back into this game. Nice answer for you guys. Brings your score up to 60 as we smile our way into our final picture. Here's your clue. The, this character's first words were hot dogs. Clue number two, he wears white gloves. Andre. Goofy. Is it goofy? Incorrect. Teachers for the steal, buzz in if you know it. Miss Dewey? Is it Mickey Mouse? Is that Mickey Mouse? That's what we're doing. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Let's take a look at our scores. 110 for our teachers, 60 for the students. But both teams have a chance to win because it is time for the final exam. Today's final exam is celebrity families. I'm going to ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer is going to be worth 100 points. Teams are going to work together. Write down your answers during the commercial break. No writing quite yet, Miss Sue. I'm watching you. No cheating. But first, let's hear these questions. The first question on the final exam. Luna is the daughter of what All of Me singer? First and last name. Question number two on the final exam. What is the first and last name of the Thor actor who has a famous brother who played Gale in the Hunger Games? Finally, question three. Riley, Ryan, and Cannon are the children of what famous Golden State Warrior? Okay, we know the questions. Each team has 60 seconds to confer and come up with their answers. I can't wait to see who does it with Simon Gratz today. In just a couple of minutes, we're going to see which team has it in the bank and going to take that money back to their school and rank first right here in the classroom. But first, guys, I want you down here. I want you on the show. Here's a look at how you can be a part of the classroom. Does your school need to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Into the classroom today, we have students and teachers from Simon Gratz High School Mastery Charter going head to head right now. The scores 110 for our teachers in the lead and students with 60. So it's anybody's game. The topic of today's final exam is celebrity families. Before we went to break, I asked both teams three questions. Don't forget each correct answer. 100 points for your score. So let's see who did it. Ace their final exam and take that money back to their school. The first question was. Luna is the daughter of what All of Me singer? We're looking for the first and last name. Students, we are, you are trailing behind here, so you have to get basically all three of these right. Let's see how you started out. What did you say? John Legend. John Legend. That's exactly right. Bringing you guys up to 160. How's that lead feel all of a sudden, right? Good. Yeah. Yeah, Andre, it feels good? More fire. All right, so what happens? What happens you go back to school? Who are you giving it to hardest over here if you win this thing? Ms. Good. Ms. Good. <laughs> Ms. Good, are you ready for that if you go down today? I'm ready. Oh, all right. Well, tell you what, you might as well fire right back. We asked Luna is the daughter of what? All of me singer. We're looking for the first and last name. Favorite singer? John Legend. John Legend. It's her favorite singer. See, you never know what you're going to get here. As we move into question number two, students, you're back to trailing behind here. What is the first and last name of the Thor actor who has a famous brother who played Gale in The Hunger Games? Chris Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth, probably the most attractive family we've ever seen. Chris Hemsworth is right! Bringing you guys back up to 260 and back in the lead. See, Andre, you're back to being hot now. You're feeling it, right? You're feeling it. Well, Teachers, fine. listen, you guys probably don't watch movies. You stay in the classroom all day. You're great papers. But do you watch movies? So what is the first and last name of the Thor actor who has a famous brother who played Gale in The Hunger Games? The smile pretty much gives Chris it away. Hemsworth. Yeah, the smile. She was smiling ear to ear. And just like that, they're back in the lead, and it all comes down to this. Students, if you get it right, you stay in the game. And we head over to the teachers and see how they did. But if you get it wrong, the game's over. $500 is lost, and it's going to the teachers. So 
Riley, Ryan, and Cannon are the children of what famous Golden State Warrior? Andre, drop a tray on us. Stephen Curry. Stephen Curry is right there. It is bringing you guys a 360 and putting it all on our teachers over here. Riley, Ryan, and Cannon are the children of what famous Golden State Warrior? Mrs. Dewey, if you get it right, you win the game. Steph Curry. Steph Curry, and that means teachers are big winners today. $500. Look who's bringing it out. We got some students ready. Get out here, guys, and join us. And we want to thank you guys for being here today and checking out the gameplay in the classroom. Join us next time. We got new students over here, new teachers over here, and $500 more dollars right here. You have a good time today? Say goodbye to everybody at home. See you guys. We'll see you next time.